My name is Gabor Pertek, and I work in the programming department here at TIFF, and it is with great pleasure that I get to moderate uh, this Q&A here with you all tonight. Uh, we do have time for some, some questions, so make sure to raise your hands up nice and high. Uh, but I do want to, again, once again, give it up for the fantastic director of the film you just saw, Kasia Roslanian. Try and pop out a light and come see you all. Uh, and actually, I, you know what? Maybe I'll start uh, the ball rolling a bit and say this is your follow-up, obviously, to Mall Girls. Uh, and both films have dealt with uh, kind of the youth culture in a feminine perspective. What attracts you to telling these stories? I don't know because I just, I just, I just felt that I wanna do it. And after Mall Girls, I didn't want to make another movie about teenagers anymore, but after that I found the subject, I found the story about a teenage girl, and she's got the baby, and there was some, because, okay, you saw the movie, so I can tell about that, that it was a story that there was a 17 year old girl, and she put the baby to the locker in the railway station, uh, because she was in hurry to, to go to the war, to, the, to, to, to work, so like, like it's in the movie, so I thought that it's something incredible, and uh, but I didn't want to make this movie because I felt that it will, it could be a very dark movie and sad, and I I didn't know how to how, how to how, <coughs> how to take it for me. And after that, I I found the article in the newspaper about the teenage mom, uh, and I. Um, I found there that there is a fashion to have a baby in Europe, and it's cool to have a baby. It's like Britney Spears, and because it was two years two years ago, uh, and uh, and I think it's it, it's amazing. It's really amazing that teenagers wants to have the baby because it's cool. And I compared these two subjects, and I must to make this movie because I felt that it's something. It was I. Don't know, I it was interesting for me, that's why I made it. So this is the reason. <laughs> um, perhaps we'll also jump on and talk about in terms of the casting process obviously must have been so integral, especially to find your lead to tell this story. Can you expand on finding uh, your characters, your, your actresses to, to inhabit this story that initially, as you said, you didn't want to tell, but what brought you to, to them? You asked me about the casting? Yeah. It was horrible. <laughs> it was horrible. It was the most difficult thing in the movie because it took us seven months and I was looking for these teenage guys for so long and I could uh, found the three one but despite the main character and still Half a year before we start shooting, I didn't have the I didn't have Natalia, so we we had this brilliant idea with my producer, and she's here, that we will make the casting with the MTV television station, and so teenagers send the MMS with with the photos, and we chose uh, I don't know one one hundred of them, and then invite them for the casting and. Natalia, so Magda, okay, Magda, uh, she's from there. But it's, it was terrible. I, I, I spent every day, it was seven months, every day doing casting. I was calling to my casting director, Marek, get up, we are going to another city because I live in Warsaw, so we are go going to, I don't know, from another city because there are some party, there are some skateboard uh, competition because we also were looking for skateboard guy. And I was I was calling uh, I was calling him when I was on the party and f 2 a.m. Marek, I come here because maybe there's some 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 nice people to, to, to cast for you. So it was really it was it was crazy. 